Just like we've seen with other tech industries, China has been investing heavily in the development of battery technology. The country has been leading the way in electric vehicle adoption and renewable energy resources, which has resulted in a growing demand for high-performance batteries that are actually affordable. In this video, we'll explore the latest plans and advancements in China's battery tech industry, showing which company has invested how much money. But before that, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon because we always try to come up with such news before anyone else. With that being said, let's dive in. In Beijing, an amazing story is happening with Chinese electric car companies that are listed in the US. Unlike anything we've seen in the West, these automakers are pouring an extraordinary amount of resources into research and development, outpacing even Tesla when it comes to the ratio of spending to sales. This is actually a survival tactic that would bring great results. During China's highly competitive auto market, which proudly holds the title of the largest in the world, these companies are racing to innovate. The demand for new energy vehicles, containing both cutting-edge battery-powered and hybrid models, has increased to over 40% of total sales, highlighting a transformative shift in consumer preference. Compared to their global counterparts, many Chinese automakers have already stepped up their spending on research and development greatly over recent years. According to Paul Gong, an autos analyst at UBS, these companies are now investing equal to or even more than their international rivals when considering R&D as a percentage of revenue. In fact, in some scenarios, their absolute dollar amounts have even surpassed those of global giants. But how are the Chinese companies able to outspend their global rivals? Well, they have been building on earlier battery technology breakthroughs by using abundant and affordable minerals. They have developed methods to create batteries that not only store a significant amount of energy, but can also last for more than 10 years with regular use. As a result, these Chinese manufacturers are able to produce large quantities of these efficient batteries at a low cost. This has allowed them to dominate the global market for electric vehicles and various clean energy systems. Among the four Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers listed on US exchanges, NIO has taken a prominent position by allocating approximately 29% of its revenue to research and development in the first quarter of the year. This is much higher than Tesla's spending ratios, which were recorded at only 5.4% in the first quarter and 4.2% in the second quarter. This is relatively less if we consider its focus on research and development. Fang Shen, the chairman of NIO's Quality Management Committee, resonated with the crowd at a recent event when he addressed the issue of involution in the electric vehicle market. This term captures the essence of the intense competition that has emerged in the industry. What companies should compete on is quality, he emphasized, underscoring that without delivering superior quality, there is little else to discuss. With great confidence, Shen unveiled NIO's comprehensive strategy aimed at improving product standards, focusing on innovative technology and enhancing supply chain efficiencies. In an environment where many strive to outpace one another, it's NIO's commitment to quality that sets them apart on this challenging road ahead. Another exciting development in China's battery tech landscape is happening in the Zhengxiang province where the auto giant Geely operates alongside its electric vehicle subsidiary, Zeker, which is listed in the US. Zeker has dedicated an impressive 13% of its sales to research and development in the first quarter of this year. This commitment to innovation reflects Geely's larger trend in R&D spending, which has remained consistent at a minimum of 4% of revenue over the last four years. Geely's vice president of autos R&D, Ren Jiangfei, recently shared insights about the company's dual focus on enhancing both the hardware and software aspects of their vehicles. He highlighted that software is key to creating differentiation in the market, with features that excite and surprise users, manifesting through innovative software solutions. This perspective is particularly relevant for new energy vehicles, whose larger batteries enable the integration of advanced functions, such as driver assist technologies and in-car entertainment. Further underscoring its commitment to cutting-edge advancements, Geely launched the Aegis Short Blade Battery, which claims to have passed rigorous safety tests without incidents of explosions. This development positions Geely as a strong contender in the battery market, rivaling BYD's renowned Blade Battery, which has been important in establishing BYD's dominance in the electric vehicle sector. Impressively, Geely secured the second spot in new energy vehicle sales during the first half of the year 
surpassing even Tesla, which placed third, according to the China Passenger Car Association. Companies like Xpeng are not far behind in the race for battery technology innovation, boasting an impressive R&D intensity of 20% in the first quarter alone. Meanwhile, Li Auto, with a more modest R&D intensity of 11%, has nevertheless succeeded in outpacing pure battery electric vehicles with their range extender models. In terms of big investments, BYD has taken the lead among Hong Kong-listed companies, funneling approximately $1.47 billion into research, representing 8.5% of its revenue, more than Tesla's $1.15 billion during the same period. As the electric vehicle market changes, car makers are working hard to set themselves apart, especially in areas like battery and software technologies. These areas have been mainly led by suppliers such as CATL and Huawei. Jing Liu, a professor of accounting and finance at the Chong Kong Graduate School of Business, underscores the challenge for automakers, noting that it's unlikely they can exceed the innovations of these major suppliers, making it tough to carve out a unique identity in a marketplace where brand switching is just a consumer choice away. With Huawei committing at least 10% of its revenue to R&D and CATL maintaining an intensity ratio of 5.4%, the competition will remain fierce as companies strive to create products that truly resonate with the consumers. However, batteries are just one example of how China is spending big to catch up with and even surpass advanced industrial democracies in terms of technology and manufacturing capabilities. The country is making remarkable progress across various sectors, including pharmaceuticals, drones, and high-efficiency solar panels. This effort reflects a challenge to the technological dominance that the United States has maintained since World War II, which is visible in the investment trends seen in China's classrooms and corporate budgets. Additionally, this push for innovation aligns closely with directives from the highest levels of the Communist Party, underscoring the nation's commitment to advancing its position on the global stage. Investment in research and development in China has tripled over the past decade and has positioned the country as a close second to the United States. Recent data from the Australian Strategic Policy Institute indicates that Chinese researchers are at the forefront, leading global publication in 52 out of 64 essential technologies. In an important meeting last month, leaders of the Communist Party designated scientific training and education as a key economic priority receiving notable emphasis in the meeting's final resolution. According to Huai Jingpeng, the education minister, there will be a focused strategy to nurture top talents through enhanced development in vital disciplines. Many Chinese undergraduates study mathematics, science, engineering, or agriculture, with three-quarters of doctoral candidates also pursuing these fields, contrasting sharply with U.S. statistics. The lead in battery technology is particularly pronounced, with Chinese researchers contributing 65.5% of highly cited papers, while the US accounts for just 12%. Moreover, CATL and BYD, the world's two largest electric car battery manufacturers, are both based in China, which boasts nearly 50 graduate programs focused on battery chemistry and related areas. This knowledge has led to conversations in other countries about whether they should ask Chinese companies to set up battery factories in their own nations or try to copy China's success on their own. According to Robin Zeng, the chairman of CATL, building a battery factory in the US is six times more expensive than in China. However, China's dominance in battery technology may also lead to concerns about intellectual property and security, particularly as the US and other countries become more reliant on Chinese manufacturers. So, this was everything about how China is driving the future of electric vehicles through its advancements in battery technology and overall commitment to research and development. Let us know in the comments below what you think about China's approach and its impact on the global market. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more informative content. Goodbye.